Blood vessels contain a layer of endothelial cells that forms a barrier, controlling the passage of materials into and out of the bloodstream. Permeability is regulated by the tightness of endothelial cell-cell junctions, at least in part through switching between radial and cortical actin. Tightening of junctions starts with binding of a ligand to its receptor, resulting in the activation inside the cell of a G protein that activates adenylate cyclase to make cyclic AMP. EPAC, a guanine nucleotide exchange factor for RAP1, is in the cytosol in an inactive closed conformation. When cyclic AMP binds, EPAC folds open into an active conformation, which triggers the translocation and binding of EPAC to phosphatidic acid at the plasma membrane, where it activates membrane-bound RAP1 by exchanging GDP for GTP. Two effector proteins of RAP1, RACIP1 and RADIL are in the cytosol. RADIL is bound to ARCHGAP29, a row GTPase activating protein. These proteins bind to activated RAP1 to form a multimeric protein complex. GTP bound active row interacts and activates the protein kinase ROC to form radial actin. The newly formed RAP1 ARCHGAP29 complex inactivates RO. ROC is no longer activated and radial actin falls apart. Active RAP1 also recruits a similar complex with RACIP1 and RADIL, but now with FGD5 bound to RADIL. FGD5 is a guanine nucleotide exchange factor for CDC42, which becomes activated and recruits the protein kinase MRCK to induce the formation of cortical actin. The switch from radial to cortical actin results in a stronger endothelial barrier, 